The issue. Point so it's not about it's not about okay, some races make. can't live together. Yeah. It's about some yeah. beliefs yeah. can't live together. No, no, and I agree on that. Some beliefs said, cannot live together. What I said about an atheist Ethiopian, I would say they're incompatible with a Western uh, society. Sorry, yeah. I would say that an atheist. Yeah. Ethiopian. Ralph, just. Oh, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? You're harassing us. Look at him. Look off. Look at his man. Why are you attacking Christians? I'm speaking here. He doesn't like being watched. Christian. He doesn't. I mean, look at this man. What is wrong with the show? I mean, look at this. It's unbelievable. What's wrong with this? Why are you attacking Christians? You're heckling Christian speaking. And well, attacking did you put water on? I put the back that way. I will give that you shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. You've been annoyed. Stop okay. it. I will. Lister, can you just go? You just disrupted the conversation. Yeah, you provoked. Just go and have a conversation. Sorry, Lister, you're provoked, but leave us alone. We don't want to listen. No, no. Say a proper apology. Yeah, I'm sorry, Lister. Do you not like free speech? Do you not like being heckled? No, I'm going to say that. But you're not engaging in the conversation. You're standing off camera. You're standing off camera. No, he doesn't. Exactly what he does. You're fighting. It's all over the internet. Yeah, you've got to have self control. Don't just apologise for calling more. Oh, me. Oh, Apologise for heckling everyone else. I right. And then I'll stop treating you so, the way you as treat you can see, else. As you can see, the, you the self entitled else. lefty thinks that he has the right to impose himself on every conversation, every conversation. even when he's not wanted. I want to do a discipleship with the people group that you're talking about. Oh, no. We'll arrange that. Oh, no. hey, no. Don't respond. Don't respond. It's just water. It's just yeah, water. Give you back you give him. Him. Come on. Okay. I You're an <laughs> asshole, Lister. Look at that, man. Right. The and you see, that's child, that man. is the difference the that Christ makes child. in your heart. Don't take to my everything. Good luck. <laughs> Ralph. Look, he's not a factor. Can you your thoughts about that? Only an atheist would say that. So, I said only a rock and roll. Action. He's got other gods are available. Oh, okay. Like, going to mock it? Yeah, yeah. Tell us, tell, Ralph, 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 so, just, just, uh, just explain your political philosophy to me. The philosophy, the philosophy. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm a new, uh, so I'll, I'll frame it in the light of the events that got everyone excited. Okay. So I'm supporting a new, in the formation political party with some other people. Yep. And it sort of best matches my political understanding of the world. Okay. I'm a Christian neo-reactionary. Yeah, the Christian bit. I don't have to mention. You don't have to explain I just that. that bit. I understand again. the your reactionary as well. Yeah, anyway, so and I believe they're currently under accelerationism at the top narrative. You what? Sorry. Under accelerationism at the top narrative, people are getting faster, quicker, life. People yeah. are moving quicker, air yeah. traffic, transportation, everything's getting faster, quicker, cheaper. We have a threat that that is basically a demographic threat. Yes. And within that demographic threat, we want to preserve it. Yeah. And what are we trying to preserve, Ralph? The ethnicity to double all the countries for the reason right. that we would have a stability. I mean, my view as a Christian, that, that stability would lead us to an ordered peace. I, I, I want to challenge this idea that we need to preserve the ethnicity. And I, I want to posit to you that biblically, from a Christian perspective, ethnicity is superseded. Correct. I agree with you. So right. You don't have to you okay. I right. believe, for example, my black Christian brother is more of a brother to me than anyone else. Yeah. Right. If, if I had a brother, which I don't, and he's not a Christian, my yep. heart goes my Christian brother, independent of this. Would you agree? Would you agree with me? Would you agree with me that the English have long since abandoned the Christian faith? They have. I think the Enlightenment has, was the start of the demise, and yep. since then it's only got worse. And recently, sixties, nineties, it's it's catastrophic. So, what is the benefit of preserving the English ethnicity? Because I believe that if we had a national government, it would be a tactical measure to resist the globalism that is allowing the neoliberal world to carry on. Okay. And part of that downstream is this Russian people who could never be or were never English or any Christian against a shrinking Christian core, which needs to be like protected to be preserved and hopefully be carried. So, so let me. So traditionalism to Christianity. Let, let, let me address a couple of points that you've made there. So if I'm bobbing around, it's just because I'm in a little chair. Right. So, so in terms of in terms of ethnicism, we agree that ethnicism is secondary to religiosity, the, the religion, to Christ, to to the church. Okay, we agree on that. We agree that the English are not the friends of the gospel. They've lost their ways. Yeah, they, they've lost their ways, and. In terms of therefore preserving the ethnicity, you, you, you argue that if we can preserve the English ethnicity, 
we can protect a shrinking Christian court. I, I don't argue that for that reason. I argue that if, if we want to protect, slow it down, slow down the rocks, if you like, yep. and then heat it back upwards, what would be the most stable system in which to do that? Right, but hold on. The, so in terms the stable of, system in, would be natural. But, but in, over the course of 2,000 years of Christian history, what we've realized is the church can survive in, in the most acidic situation. I don't see the church dying. Yeah, the church, the church will be triumphant. Like, like look, at, look at Japan, you know, the Japanese decided they were going to wipe out Christianity and then you had the secret Christians who lived on the islands and they survived right up until the Japanese reopened. I'm not fearful for the church. Yeah. Look, at, look at Saudi Arabia. Look at Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. I'm sorry, I can't understand it. What do you want me to do? Stay there. I'm not moving. What do you mean stand Otherwise, still? I have not taken you a you step. Moved an inch. I haven't moved an inch. I never move an inch. When do I ever move? I apologize at the start. Leon, bit my name is not Shamsi. I don't run. I don't run. That's Shamsi's trick. Where is, where is the old Gonzalez? You know? Usually high up in some church pedestal. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's short, side. Yeah, he's short, so he needs a, a bit of a, a elevation. But my, no, hold on, my point is, you're arguing. You're, you're, you're seeing the wrong enemy, I would suggest to you. As a Christian, you're seeing the wrong enemy. Because what you're saying is that we need to preserve a stable system which will give the church the best chance to recover. Society and then hopefully the church right. as an organization. But what I'm saying is that our loyalty as Christians yes. and thus our political activism must solely and only, did you get that? Solely and only yep be for the triumph of the church. Absolutely. Now, the church will yeah. survive no matter what. Yeah, I believe that too. Yeah. I don't, I don't feel like, I don't feel the Corpus Christi is not going away. The Corpus Christi is not going anywhere. Yeah. So, so, <laughs> so the fact of the matter is, my, my suggestion to you is, let the English die. Let them die? If they don't want Christ, then what good are they to the kingdom? That's a great question. I guess, yeah, it's like a Christian Darwinism. Now, like if, going to think if they one second, accepted, if we were go. to create an immigration policy uh, no, answer, that said that we were going to allow mass immigration from Christian countries. I'd be for Christian migration. Yeah, no, no, right, I know you're for Christian migration. And this is, by the way, is why he's not a national socialist. No, I'm not. Because a national socialist would never be in favor of allowing Pakistani or Caribbean or African Christians into the country, but you would be in favor of that. And Christianity is, yeah, no, my problem is, but you've asked the probably, in my view, you've asked probably the best question I've heard in Speaker's Corner. So I'm still processing it in my historical mind. But I think, yeah, I think the problem is, would it be a moral question if I said I could reclaim Christian nationalism? Would it be okay to let go of the flock and let them die for an ethnicity to fail? I've never thought of that question. It's a great question. I think my, my instinct says yes, but something in me, like an act of love, says no. no it's no, a great question. We don't, we don't want the English. It. We don't want the English yeah, to I perish. Can't, I can't want, yeah, I can't but, feel but like when I can't you, want But when that. you become a Christian, you join another nation. Yeah, I feel part of that. I, feel yeah. part, I don't feel that straightened to me. So, but it's a great question. I really would like to dwell on it. Cause, cause, it's cause, a fantastic cause, question. Because cause the thing yeah. is that the, the, yeah. it's axiomatic to yeah. any form of ethno-nationalism. The idea that when you are born again as a Christian, yes. you are born into a royal household, yeah. a holy priesthood, yeah. another nation, a royal nation, Absolutely, a yeah. people is what we're described as, a people set apart. Yeah. If the church is a people set apart, then that means that we are another ethnicity yeah. now. We are another ethnos, yeah. the ethnos of the church. Yeah. And that means that <laughs> here's, think, we're not line. bought to the English Absolutely. or to no, the no, no, Nigerian no, 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 no. or to the yeah. African. The supremacy is non-negotiable for me. I, I do not. I would never compromise my Christianity for anything down. And I get that. I, I accept that's that. not happening. But for me, it's interesting fault line because you say that. But there's a the, that question I have to dwell on. That's a great question. But if you imagine the abstract organizing principle of society, but the neo reactionary, the neo bit of the reactionary is we're computer science based and mathematically yeah, okay. oriented. And we're looking going like, hang on, so this abstract collectivism, you've got these three competing global warriors. There's the global neoliberalism, the middle liberals, the left, and the right. And the churches are obviously in the right, or should be in the right first, but it's crumbled there. So the question is for nationalism, this is where the debate is. You look at the Christian nationalists really like storming the, the voice, E. Michael Jones, etc., storming the zeitgeist of thought. They're claiming surely the English, like you do, and I would agree with you again, say someone like Vinny, have lost their way because they've lost their ways of, 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 of the ways, their ways of the father. And to yeah. restore.
for them, however, need something like a stable place where they could be, uh, especially if you think of generationally. Right, we have what, more young nationalists. I, I, I want to, for example, young nationalists saying day sport at every live stream chat yeah. with a thousand people. They're saying day sport. They, they can say day sport. They can yeah. say day sport. But they're young still. Right? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, if, but they they say, if they say, if they say, if they say day sport, yep. But they confuse. If they say day sport, but they, but they, they ascribe that god yeah. as some kind of tribal god they'll start there because there's genetic yeah, but they're, 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 racism no no, no hold on a second thinking, yeah. ralph if they if they are saying deus vult but their vision of god is a, a is a tribal god yes then that means that they have lost they the god yeah so they've not embraced christianity but they've properly. been learning their ways yeah well yeah. they're going to agree there's 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 room for improvement yeah. but you said that that a christian political narrative sits on the right and I want to challenge that as well, because yes, morally, socially, in terms of our values about things like family, we, we would sit more comfortably with traditional conservatives right, than we would with a large part of our David base, Cameron's yeah. conservatives. The large part of our base are we would, we would, cultural yeah. Christians. We, we, would sit, we would sit on yeah. the traditional right. Absolutely. But if you look at, if you look at the, the idea of monasticism, the idea of lay monasticism, the idea of the Book of Acts where it says, and they shared all things in common, and no one was in want. That is the idea of, of Christians having elective communism, which is left-wing. But I do mean it so, right-wing in the, in the traditional form of communism. I meant it more right-wing in the reactionary model of, of, of hierarchy, yeah. so of God above spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Much more than I meant just the political model and maybe, you know, right wing authoritarian socialism. But my point is this different, the different generations, if you look at the data, and this is where I live, in 2025, we have, a, we have an objective to get to exceeds. 13 years from today, we'll be 18 then. Yeah. And we look at the generation of Zoomers and Millennials, and we see where are they in their life journey with or without Christ. And the nationalist movement has reinvigorated people with the feeling that if you had ethno nationalism without the spirit, you're back to tribalism and new neo forms of feudalism. Yeah. Tribalism can't touch Islam. You have no spirit. What are you fighting and living for? I don't need to tell you this. The young blood are very, very open and Christian, and their stewardship now must be in that form that says nationalism gets them to collectivize anyway, because with or without the ethno bit, they have a common concern. But, but, that but the collectivism, that being let's, talk about the no collectivism. Market, right? let's talk about the collectivism. Let's talk about the collectivism. Because I agree there should be collectivism. Right? Christians should coalesce as fellowships, and those fellowships should coalesce as groups of fellowships, and those groups of fellowships should mobilize and work together. Okay? But it is on that basis that there should be coalition. There should be co that, 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 that Christians coalesce around the apostolic community. Not around a political party, not around an ethnicity, yeah. not around uh, some form of tribalism. Yeah, yeah? Uh, be honest with me. Be yeah, honest with me. Because you're I'm much. Missing, I'm missing I, have, hard I, have, I know you are. I know you are. I know you are. I'm not one of these people that villainise you, Ralph. I really am not. I do think, just on a separate point, and not to get caught up on it too much, I do yeah, think I doing, I, I, I do think doing the Heil salute is a bit childish. And you should probably stop doing that. Actually, based on that, it's, it's, it's part silly. of the countercultural. It, 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 part of our it audience is. are young. The Heil salute is older than Nazi Germany. Just saying. But the point is, it is, it is, it is silly to do it in our context. It's yes. unwise, and as Christians, we're called to be wise. Can we have a separate conversation about that one? Yes, yeah, separately, one, separately. But, but, but nonetheless, my point, just speaking down, is that we already have the following. I'm not aware if you're sure of the marketplace of Christians and nationalists. We have in the generational game. If I brought you the generational data side by side, I can show this to you. We have a large number of Christians who are young, yep. therefore raw Christians. Where I look at it. Looking at, they've got as opposed to devoid of spirit, the atheist, nihilist, London. Yeah, they've yeah. got spirit in them, and they're young, and they have to be guided. Then they're nationalists who can feel the hollowness because they don't have Christ. Yep. They're ethno nationalists, and they sometimes fill it with this kind of rage, yep. but they don't have anything above it. So yep. they get a bit 1488. And, 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 and we, we're aware of them, we're cognizant as the elders of them. Yep. What we want to do internally is unite that spirit back in under the nationalism because we and our numbers say two thirds of the marketplace has got a latent demand of 20% of seats for 2025. Yeah. So right now, Dominic Cummings is hiring the smartest computer science and data guys because we know the right wing wedge is up to twenty percent. They saw what happened. With this. I'm, 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 I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, wanna, I'm not, that, I'm not, I'm not here to argue about yeah. the, the, the yeah, demographics yeah, all, of the, the right wing movement. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is that that hard right nationalism and hard right ethno nationalism 
is in contradiction to the Christian narrative. And I'll give you an example. Hebrews 11. All these died in faith without receiving the promises, but having seen them and having welcomed them from a distance and having confessed that they were strangers and exiles on earth. Did you hear that? Absolutely, yeah. Where? Yeah, on earth. On earth. Yeah, yeah, Does that include everywhere on earth? Yeah, I appreciate I myself, I, I'm a, yeah, I, I for want those, to For those who say such things, make it clear that they are not... Sorry, my apologies. Make it clear that they are seeking a country of their own. If indeed they had been thinking of that country from which they went out, they would have had opportunity to return. But as it is, they desire a better country. That is a heavenly one. Which means that the desire, the desire of the Christian in terms of our politics is about bringing the kingdom of heaven to earth. It is not about the preservation of an ethnicity. It is not about preservation of a nation state. It is not about the preservation of a particular culture. Absolutely. But there's been a problem with this. Because if you look at, and I, you probably have the data better than me, Christians are being persecuted, prosecuted, and murdered around the world. Absolutely. They're being ethnically cleansed, yes. first, even without being Christian, from the entire Middle East and other parts yes. of the world. If we look at the higher narrative as new reactions and say accelerationism, I would argue, and that others argue with me, that I would love to introduce those people to argue. I'd love to meet these guys. Theology, absolutely. I'll debate with them. Who would argue? I'll talk with them. Yeah, absolutely. I would love to be involved. And we'll I'll organize I'll, a Bible study. I would organize, and they would summarize this thing to protect the Christian fellowship, which is that of the abstract and exile of the land. To protect the Christian fellowship, it's necessary to protect the land. In, in, as subordinate to protecting the ethnicity. They argue with me, ethnicity without spirit will not even save no, the ethno I get, I get that you're so they're, not... They're not, they're I, not I get, being ethno... I get that you're, I, I get it, I get that you're, I get that you're not a plain ethno-nationalist. I, I get that. I get, no, 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 I get that. Which one's more important? Spirit or ethnicity? Uh, one's religion is more important than one's ethnicity. Would you say ethnicity has still has importance or do you view religion as higher? Religion is definitely higher than ethnicity. Sure. In the order of value, mm -hmm. our our faith or not in Christ is the deciding factor of one's personal allegiance. So my personal allegiance is to every Christian in Ethiopia than it, or every Christian in Russia than it is before every atheist Englishman. Okay. So Bob. But what, what, once you have the Christianity then, what then... What about ethnicity afterwards? If, if a group of people are Christian, then, okay. then, then their ethnicity has already been superseded and they are now part of the confederacy of the church, which is a collection of ethnicities, of tribes and peoples that are worshipping God. There's nothing innate about the ethnicity that needs to be preserved if it doesn't have value in the kingdom of God. And if I may, I say, when I hug my Christian brothers of any ethnicity and race, I don't feel that ethnicity and race. I feel yeah. a Christian brother in my heart. I don't feel them as a physical being. I feel them as a Christian. Yeah. And I don't feel it. So as a Christian, I would say that. Yeah, but so I don't Bob, feel I'm thinking about If feeling. you were to take away, so let's say in my case, so I'm not Christian, I'm not religious at all. Are you an ethno-nationalist? Um, I've been called it. <laughs> okay. Nationalist, patriotic. Somewhere. So you're a, a nationalist? Yeah. Okay. So you take away religion. Yep. And one of the things, you know, religion serves a purpose. It's a set of, you know, cultures, beliefs, values. So it's sort of a moral guidance in one's life. So you take that away. Yep. So why should you not preserve ethnicity? Because that's the second best thing that we have as a nation. Okay, allow me to reply religion, to that. Because ethnicity is... No, I'm to put like... Okay. Because I would so, say... Yeah, go on. I would say that ethnicities have, you know, their own sort of cultures, values, and morals that aren't shared with, you know, other ethnicities and races. So, so let let me address your thought experiment directly. You've said if we, if you, if you, if we take away uh, religion, yeah, then that means that we can. Brother, brother, do you want to talk to me or do you want to argue with a pirate? Like, forget, 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 Mr. I want to be a communist over here. You're talking to a Christian, right? So, in terms of, in terms of, in terms of what we're talking about, I would say to you that there is nothing in England that needs to be preserved unless it is built on Christ, and that includes the very people themselves. If they aren't built on Christ, let them die. Not, I wouldn't kill them, but what I'm saying is, I'm not interested if they preserve. Spiritual death. Well, their spiritual death is leading to their biological death. 
they abandoned Christian roots and traditions and now they've given up the family and have given up children and as an ethnos they are literally dying out. The English will be a footnote in history. But, but my point to you, is, my, my point to you, my point to you is, is that in terms of in terms of the Christian worldview, it's more than just moral guidance. It is more than just eth ethical guidance. Christianity is a comprehensive worldview of which ethics and morality are one part, but there is a greater paradigm which gives us the cause that we fight for, it gives us spiritual experiences that enrich our lives, it gives us values, it tells us what to ascribe value to and what not to ascribe value to, it gives us an ethic by which we can live our life, a virtue ethic, it, it enriches the soul and it leads to salvation, it's based upon a supernatural reality. It's more than just moral guidance and that's the problem with with ethno-nationalists that want to capture Christianity to their own ends. Because when an ethno-nationalist captures Christianity to their own ends, they just want to reduce it to some cultural festivals and a couple of morals. And that's not Christianity. Absolutely. I agree with you, but here's the dynamics of the board. And this is why I think meeting people like E. Michael Jones and others, our, our team will be I'll meet with right. anyone. Absolutely. Is that you've got this problem that in this accelerationism, the rate at which people coming in who are not Christian and not ethnic has been accelerating. So the ethnic response, so the ethnic response to those without Christ has been primarily ethnic. It's shaping the world anyway. The Christian nationalists go, look, the ethnics are taking this anyway, and the projection 10, 20, 30 is a cycle reversal on yep. its way. Yep. They're going, the Christian nationalists go, these chaps need the spirit of Christ. So what they're doing is precisely what you just said, my brother. Right, right, and right. That's, right. And that's where that intersection is. So we can't throw it ethnicity like the lady was trying to imply. Ethnicity is present for those who don't have the spirit, and they're actors on the board anyway. Yep. And non Christian, non ethnics just look around you on the game theory board. Yeah, so let, let, so let, nationalism let, is an easy way to defend, and, that, and that's the debate. Let, 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 let me. Let, there's another let, 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 me, let, civic. let me Let me make it clear. I absolutely believe that ethno nationalists should be evangelized. I believe that there should be evangelists working amongst ethno nationalists to bring them to Christ. I believe that just because you're an ethno nationalist doesn't mean that you're somehow untouchable. I would happily sit down and do a Bible study with a room full of ethno nationalists. Now we have those voices. I don't I don't I don't simply dismiss them because I believe that every soul is precious. Every single soul, including the pirate here and this brother, yeah, and the Salafists. Even the pirate. Yeah, even the hijab and the Hashims of this world and the Mansours and Ralph and any neo Nazi. I want them all to be saved. All to be saved. And, and giving ourselves over to hatred. Giving ourselves over to hatred is one of the key problems of ethno-nationalism. Because pride and hubris in something as vain as your race very quickly and very easily leads to hatred of other races. And it is totally unjustified. And it is completely against the new covenant established by Jesus Christ. I, mean, I, no, 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 sorry, I disagree with that because just because you're sorry, which bit do you disagree with? What you said it leads to people hating other races. It's not necessarily hating other races. It's just uh, an objective view. I said it very but, easily leads. Yeah, of course, but it doesn't necessarily do so. No, not necessarily. Because it's an objective view that certain races are quite frankly incompatible with other races in the same sense that I wouldn't move to Somalia because I wouldn't fit in Somalia. I don't believe that certain races should should be you know, integrated. In I what about, what about Ethiopians? He's an atheist, but he has no hate in his heart. What, no, what about Ethiopians? No hate in his heart. I don't know enough about them. I know that Ethiopian Jews exist, so they probably have Judeo Christian values. Would, would you allow Ethiopian Jews to settle here? Absolutely, yeah. Would you allow Ethiopian Christians to settle yeah. here? Would you allow Ethiopian Muslims to settle no. here? So your issue is not ethnicity then? Yeah. Your issue is the religion? Well, it's theism. No, it's a part of it, yeah. No, 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 hold on. In our thought experiment, yeah. where you're in control yeah. of immigration, yeah. you said you would accept... But I wouldn't accept. You would accept I Jewish... I would accept an atheist Ethiopian. Right. 
but so what you're talking about therefore is I, have, but that's believable. They don't even have the values. One second. One Islam. second. They have zero one second, values. One second. Whatsoever. But what you're saying then? One saying then. No, I'm, not an, I'm an anti-theist. So what you're, but what you're saying? <laughs> do your homework. Do your homework. Wait, wait, wait. Apparently I'm a hippie. <laughs> don't speak out loud. So you know that I don't run away. Sorry, no, I'm not going to run away. Don't speak out loud. Because what in your categories that you've just used? What you identified was beliefs, yeah. not ethnicities. And that is the point that I'm making, that it's about beliefs, not ethnicities. So you're agreeing actually with me, not the other way around. It's a values-based approach. Yeah? Yeah. So it's a values-based approach that you're using. Because so, so we're not talking about ethnicities. No, no, ethnicities I, I, are I, not the issue. The so it's not, about, it's not about it's not about some races can't live together. Yeah. It's about some it's beliefs can't live together. No, no, and I agree on that. Some beliefs said, cannot live together. What I said about an atheist Ethiopian, I would say they're incompatible with a Western society. So I would say that an atheist Ethiopian. Just whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're harassing what are you doing? us. Look at him. Look at this man. Why are you attacking Christians? I'm speaking here. He doesn't mind being watched. He didn't he didn't that. That. I mean, look I at this man. <laughs> what is wrong with this chap? I mean, look at this. It's unbelievable. What's wrong with this? Why are you attacking Christians? You're heckling Christian speaking. And well, attacking did you put water on? I put the back that way. I really give that you shouldn't have done that. You've that. That. been annoyed. Stop okay. it. I will. Lister, can you just go? You just yeah. disrupted the conversation. Yeah, you provoked. Just go and have a conversation with somebody else. Sorry, Lister, you're provoked, you provoke, but, but leave us alone. We don't want to listen. Oh, no, no. no. Say a proper apology. Yeah, I'm sorry, Lister. Do you not like free speech? Do you not like being heckled? No, just apologise. No, I'm going to stay here. But you're not engaging in the conversation. You're standing off camera. You're standing off camera. No, he doesn't. Exactly what he does to people. It's all over the internet. Yeah, you've got to, you've got to have self-control. Don't just apologise for calling war. Oh, Apologise for heckling everyone else, I don't and then I'll stop treating you so, the way you as treat you can see, else. As you can see, the, you the self-entitled lefty thinks that he has the right to impose himself on every conversation, every conversation. even when he's not wanted. Every even when his opinion is not invited. Are treating him the way he treats everyone else? The problem, treat others how you wish the, to be treated? The problem, is that not, it's not, not the problem with the self-righteous lefty him how he is to be that treated. they think that only no, think their is, opinion can be heard. Oh, I think this is and that no behavior. other opinion can I, be heard. I'm demonstrating through my stupid behaviour Thank you, we all agree how, how that he behaved stupidly stupid. yeah. and now you are doing just as bad. Hey, I'm just responding to the wet arm that I've just, just you got. You will survive, Lister. Very grown up, bro. You're a pirate after all. <laughs> Right, now, can we continue the conversation? Yeah, let's get back to the conversation. I apologize, I apologize for all the rockets. I'll, I'll, I'll get back to where I was. I did wrong. From the side. Why why you just, can we continue the conversation that you're not part of? Right. So, so back to what, what, the, point, the, point that, the point that I was making. The point that I was making. Don't, guys, focus. I, if I can focus on you two, you two need to focus on you, us two. Right? So just focus and ignore him. Yeah, it's just noise, that's all it is. So back to what we were saying. In terms of, you've agreed with me, but it's not really about race, no, no, it's not, about not values entirely. and beliefs. Not entirely, I said that part of it is to do with values and beliefs. Wait, 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 yeah. But the other part of it, is, you know, what I said about an atheist is the for example. You know, I, I would, but that's I when you say atheist, you're yeah. talking about beliefs and values. What is an atheist? Somebody who hasn't, you know, is an atheist a race? No. no. Is it a belief Ethiopian system? Is. An Ethiopian without beliefs. Right? Is it a belief system? Right, so it's not the question of whether we're talking... Are you, do you have no self-discipline in your heart? Sorry. He's alone. Yeah? This is why you need Christ, bro. I've already had it. Because Christ will help you. I've already had it, though. I grew up as a Christian. That doesn't mean anything. You may have grown up in a, you may have grown up in a Christian family. That doesn't mean that you, you grew up as a Christian. We have an understanding of Christianity that you don't have. But may I stress this you the other way? Go on then. So I think the problem is if you take the Christian compass of a second, which I don't and can't, and you look at what's happening on the board is atheist nationalists are dropping the political power. In the last, since 1979, yeah. no right-wing party had more than 2%, and the last 10, 20 years as a reaction against mass immigration, fears are notwithstanding, in a cultural war of values, of ethnicity, are, are preparing to 
storm across Europe where you were in flight. I believe the Christian voice is essential. There are ethno nationalists who are atheistic and want to reject Christ for reasons again for Jew hatred. Right? They're, they're anti Jewish. Then they really, they take they transpose their hate they don't feel with this thing you call a conflation of pride and they they, 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 they they do the wrong things. But they're open to Christ. So that I think that intersection is going to be pivotal so, whether so let I me, do anything. Let, so let me let me talk yeah, 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 yeah. I get your point. So let that's me a trajectory. And, and, and you have and you have precedent in history as well and I'm gonna explain what that is. For those of you that want to go away and look into this, you can look into the Christian Socialist Movement. The Christian Socialist Movement was born because some uh, Christians with a sense of vision and gumption about themselves saw that communism was going to rock the world. And they wanted to develop a Christian response to the Christian response to the, the, the rise of communism. To intervene. Now, whether your assessment of atheist nationalism about to storm the world is accurate or not is a, a deeply debatable point. Deeply debatable point. I can point. defend that one very well. However, 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 yeah. and I, I have no problem with Christians engaging with nationalists. Yes. At all. X percentage of those people. Right. Let me give you an example. So I left, I spent Wait, a little jump. Oh, good. I'll finish one. But that, but that engagement should be to seek to cultivate those people to be disciples of Christ and to use their energies and resources, their abilities and skills to the defense of and the triumph of the church. Now, there was a key point to your argument that I want to address and then obviously you can come back out. You stated that, that you see this uh, intersectionalism as a way of creating a buffer uh, a defense of the Christian church. No. Did I misunderstand you or is that correct? Something deeper than buffer, but you can go to data. A, 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 a transformational court. Okay, a transformational court. young boys to be Christian as early as possible for as long as possible. Amen, amen. Yeah. But, but, but in terms of, in terms of that, the, what you're assuming is that the church doesn't have the right to defend itself. The church have neglected the demographic that are participating in this transformation. No, the, they the, don't go to church, they're on YouTube. There are tons of them. They're yeah. the top internet numbers. They are, they are, but they're not going to physically necessarily go to church. The church, but the, they're already connected. Don't the worry. I mean, the, the, the church is badly led. We're, we agree. We're, we agree that the church is badly led. That's right. We have bishops. In the space, in the we have bishops space. that are yeah. sold out to yeah. left wing politics. Yeah. They're nothing but cultural Christians, Absolutely. and they've abandoned any defence of the church. They've uh, most uh, lots of Anglican bishops are really just heretics. Yeah. You know, but the the reality is. Real Christian identity I appreciate what you're saying. replaces a national identity. Absolutely, but if you imagine that for me as a process for boys who don't understand that, I yep. do and you do. They're on a pipeline of that transformation. So if you see that moment, they have to be led by us who know. Tell, and you look at the elders. Tell, us about, like tell, us, tell us about the 14 words, Ralph. Uh, we must secure the existence of any sort of people and a future for their wow. children as a template. <laughs> yeah. as a template. So we stand like with the Dalai Lama. We must secure the existence of Congo, <laughs> Congo and the future for Congo children. Yeah. So we can't just say we want our future and yeah. independence and then we go do things to you. Here's we my problem with the 14 words. Non-intervention. Right. Here's my problem with the 14 words. And very mimetically bad. I, 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 I agree. I agree that the idea of the 14 words is that any ethnicity can say them. Any ethnicity can say the 14 words. But can a Christian, should a Christian say them, or should the Christian insert the words Christian instead of that's the highest 14? That's right. so, if you mean, so say so the 14 words as a Christian. We Tell must the existence of Christian and teach for Christians. There we go. And that is the heart, and that is the, that is the heart of Christian and we politics. we have voices in Christ, yeah. We have voices in there who get it. He is in Christ, Chris. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He just needs some discipleship. Well, this is my point, Bob. So we have, we have the boys who are in the digital space of that age group, in that pipeline. Yeah. Thousands of them can show up in a minute, and they've lost their detachment. I agree. We, and they, they, they're 14, some of them in the 14 part, yeah. and they're not crossed over. Yeah. Some of them are crossed over and confused. And that, that, that process, if we left and, it, and I would if be, we left it yeah. to die, it would either fail off or succeed and be tribal. And if you, and I agree. Which is wrong. I, 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 me, me and you are in agreement on a lot of things. Yeah, a lot of things. What, oh, very shortly. <laughs> so what? What I would say to you. What I, what I would say to you. I, I agree with the idea. I agree with the idea of, of 
evangelizing and bringing them to faith. And without faith, ethno-nationalism is just tribalism. It will fail, it has failed, and it's going to fail again. And, and my brother Bob has inspired me and, and to take the 14 words and templatize in the Christian format and that is and the, the nationalism. And that is the only way that the 14 words can be mentioned. And infected with the nationalism. Amen. I, I would do that. Say them as a Christian. Perpetually. Say we them as a Christian. the existence of Christendom and the future for all Christians. There you go. Did you hear that, Leon? I missed, I missed the weapon. We must secure a future <laughs> for Christendom attention. and all Christians. Yeah. All Christians <laughs> includes order, Ethiopia. Order. Or, it doesn't matter the order. All. That's all. What you're That's, what you're That's what I'm saying. Do you agree? All. Leon, if you have Christ in your heart, you're my brother before any other Bob, brother. Bob, Bob, what's your opinion <laughs> on Acts 17 and 26? You're the willing son. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> made, made from one Adam, every nation, ethnos of mankind, anthropon, to live on all the face of the earth, having determined their appointed times and the boundaries of their habitation. Amen. So let me deal with that. Let me deal with that. Not paying attention. The, 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 the apostle is speaking into the realities of the world. Right. Those boundaries that are appointed by the Lord, yeah, are superseded by the kingdom of God. It says that, the, that Christ will reign in the midst of his enemies in the Psalms. That the Messiah will reign in the midst of his enemies. Which means that the church acknowledges no borders. The church acknowledges no boundaries. We do not care if the Muslims say you can't go to Mecca, we are going to take the gospel Amen, to Mecca. Bob. Amen, brother. We don't care if the Muslims claim that Constantinople, Constantinople is theirs. We are going to celebrate the liturgy in the Hagia Sophia again. Amen, brother. As Christians, we do not recognize borders or boundaries. They are the things of nations of this world, the things that are passing away of this order of things. But the church will outlive them all. Many ethnos have come and gone. Many nations have passed, many nations have passed out of the histories. Like the Picts. Who speaks of the Picts today? Scots inherit the Picts. They're gone. Their culture is gone. They lived on with the Scots. They, 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 they now assume to themselves a culture that is different. British the DNA church, has got however, the church, years. however, has outlived many a nation and many a people. And that is what you should come to. Yes. You should come and bring your energies and resources and every nationalist that is out there and every ethno-nationalist that is out there needs to come to the teachings of the apostles and the prophets. For many of you, that is actually your heritage. That is actually your heritage by birthright and you should embrace it with the fullness of the conviction in your heart and commit yourselves as disciples of Christ to the triumph of the church, not the triumph of the nation. There is only one holy Catholic and apostolic church and there isn't another. That is the heart of Christian politics. Solidarity with the persecuted Christian, a based upon a Christian identity, connected to Christian history, Christian culture, based upon Christian values and a Christian worldview. When we become a Christian, we stop being English, we stop being Nigerian, we stop being, we stop being, we stop being, we stop being Ukrainian, we stop being, we stop being, we stop being Albanian, we stop being Serbian, we stop being Palestinian, we stop being Greek, we stop being Coptic, we stop being Arab,
and we become Christians and we are united together in a confederacy of Christ. I will and Bob, I will read. I will read something we can have a meeting chat. I, I want to do a discipleship with the people group that you're talking about. We'll arrange that. Don't respond. Don't respond. It's just water. It's just water. Yeah, that's a yeah, you give me back what you gave him. That's a lot. Lord, Lord. Okay. Lord. You're an asshole, Lester. Look at that, man. Right. Where's the and you see, that's that's that is the difference the that Christ makes child? in your heart. Where's the police? Lister lives by a code of eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Where's the police? Did you for the police? Ralph, Ralph, Ralph. Leave this it. is another milkshake. Leave it. Leave it. You, right, go on. Yeah. So the point that you're making. I forgot what the point. It's all right. Yeah, I would like to do. If you want to meet up. If you want, if you want to own. If you want to make up. If you want to set up a, a live stream. With as many of these people that you're talking about, I'll gladly do a Bible study. But can I ask you a favor? Right? Absolutely. Can I ask you a favor? Just as a, as a human to a human, as a brother to a brother, I see within you a tendency to play up to the crowd. That's not my intention. That just happens in the room. Right, but it gets annoying. I don't like it. Yeah, but but maybe stop yourself from doing some of the sillier things like doing bile suits. What's yeah? right with you? Sometimes. Sometimes, right Ralph, yeah. you, you give you. in to that temptation to be a shock jockey and you say things just because it gives people a rise. You're not doing the cause any favours when you do that. Yeah? I'm showing remarkable restraint despite all odds like that. Show, yeah, yeah, yeah. Show restraint in your own heart. Show restraint in your own heart. Right? This brother needs Christ. Yeah, he's going to I have a different interpretation of Christ to you. There is only one interpretation of Christ, and that's the one given by the church. Are Arians Christian, in your opinion? No. Jimmy well, wants go. to have a go on Are you an Arian? He wants no, to be so many dead this week. Are you an Arian? No, no, wait, no, no, I meant like, I meant the, the church of, um, the church of Aries who, um, Arius. Arius, who um, said that God, um, Jesus and God are separate. You know? So, yeah, yeah, so exactly. a Christian has to be a Trinitarian in your opinion? Yes, a Christian is a Trinitarian, and that's not my opinion, that's the opinion of the Christian community. That was an opinion settled at the Council of Nicaea and Constantinople long before I was born. I'm very curious why they settled with that version of Christianity. But you are true, too. So that, oh, you're saying it's true. But let me ask you this question. You, you, can't claim, you can't claim a heritage connected to your ethnos unless you connect to the Christian church. So, right, so the, all right, the length of the Belbica slash British people has gone on for 4,500 years. You think for just 2,000 years of that last history defines the whole spectrum? Yes, there. because you have no historical connection to what came before. Well, the genes have not changed, really. You know. Well, the genes have changed. Not, so, not really. The like, genes they, 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 they stay pretty consistent of that one particular. The Normans, the Romans, all the Vikings. Came, apart from the Romans, the, the, the Danes, the Saxons, the Celts, the Normans, they all come from the same genetic group of people. So, so, our, people. so our genetics have changed? No, they've the stayed mostly homogenous. No, they've changed. The Celts aren't Germanic. Celts, Celts are not, thank you. The Celts are not Germanic, but they're part of what we would they call... They came from the same people of the Neolithic times. You know? And most, and most Celts, of the Romans here were... were Saxons. They have, the same, they have the same genotype. Red hair, Celt, blonde hair, blue eyes. These are very fragile things that we should protect like we want to protect. There's nothing the, special about them. Well, I think it's special. It's very There's nothing hair. special about them. Yeah. I agree oh, I with you. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. You've misunderstood me. I agree with you. Being white is beautiful. But so he's being black, yeah. and so he's being Asian, own and so he's places. being Latino. In their own unique places, it's not healthy to have no, lots no. of black people what? in the Northern Hemisphere. What? Why? Just what? Like it's what's, not healthy what's wrong with it? <laughs> what's wrong with it? Because we are used to an ecology because of the environment we live in. The, the, for me, well, for me, I would gladly replace you with a Nigerian Christian. That's all good, but that's I would nice. gladly replace you with a Nigerian Christian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he's just threatened me. back in again. No, he's just threatened me with violence. Honestly, Lister, you're, you're, you're a rude guy and I'm not really interested in talking <laughs> yeah. to you. So, <laughs> so, into, you're, what like, you say you, you're, you're not a, you're not a defender of anything. You called the aggression and camera. You're just an eccentric. You're, you're not even a preserver. You're, because your kind of ethno-nationalism pushes people away from any kind of sensible conservatism. You drive people over a cliff. 
because right. your ideas are so extreme, it makes it hard to form alliances with other it's Christians. Only extreme in Europe, yeah. Yeah. You know, that yeah. generation. You, it's not extreme in India. You, it's not extreme in Japan. People it's like you, in South Korea. people like you, will be the death of the English. You're no savior of anything. You will be the death of the English because people are so revolted by your ideology that they reject sensible conservatism. I just they would, reject I just sensible love my traditionalism. Yeah, I just love my extended Jewish family. family. Yeah, but that's not what the Jewish my are family, for. according to Christ, is those who follow him. That's your opinion. That is my belief. But you don't have the same That is genetics. my belief. The DNA is very different. I have, you can't go I don't care about people. genetics. Ah, right. well, some people do I do not ascribe the value to genetics that you do, because in the new covenant, that system of thought ended. Yeah, fuck the Renaissance, they gave us they, such that, horrible that system, things. <laughs> that system of thought ended. You know, you, you throw out words like the Renaissance, you yeah, don't even understand it. Yeah. You don't like the Renaissance because it's pagan, you know, it's pagan... I don't hate the Renaissance at yeah, all. Yeah, you, you love the medieval I don't, Christian... I don't. The um, Christian era is something that I think we could learn a lot from. Oh, and it's I, something I that, that we should learn a lot from. I accept that. And it's time for people in Europe to re-embrace their Christian heritage with some pride. Yeah. Well, adapted to something new. Yeah. But you... You can't embrace that because you reject the Christian heritage, which means you reject the last 2,000 years of your own history. So, um, <laughs> no, I mean, let me see, here's the problem. It literally, I see a schism between Christians across generations. So if you look at Jamie's generation downwards, and we have the data, and this is the people who are our boys, if you like, they don't think the same way. We want them to think the same way, and we need them to, but they already don't think so. So if we ignore them, Christianity won't play a part in the process. I, 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 I've already agreed, yeah. Yeah, which I and I agree, so he's speaking that, really that ethno-nationalists yeah. like him yeah. do need to be evangelised. Yeah. That's right, that's right. Yeah. But where ethno-nationalists like him make themselves into the enemies of the gospel, yeah. then ethno-nationalists like him need to be outmaneuvered, sidelined and cut out the movement. And that's the process of bite, that that's where the fault lines are. Yeah. yeah. And so, that, that's where, so, because they're coming anyway. So, I, 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 I am not against yeah. what you're trying to do, yeah. but I do yeah. honestly think that sometimes you don't do yourselves, well, you that's, don't that's, do yourself yeah, any favours. But remember, our audience is not these people. It's a completely who's different our, set of people. Who's the, who's the, the people who are nationalists. You're a nationalist. He's evangelizing nationalists. Oh. And there's so nothing wrong with evangelizing yeah. nationalists. No, no, nothing wrong with that at all. As long as you evangelize into the right faith. Amen. Well, there's only one faith. Yeah, do you have a so, problem with uh, medieval um, TV shows having people that didn't exist in those times? Like, I don't know. If they're presenting it as a historical drama, yeah. Because it's right. not accurate. Right, so why are we um, advocating for a policy that would mean less people living in the country? I have, I have no problem. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that I want the white races to disappear. But, you have but what I'm saying is, what, 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 I, what I'm saying is, if I had to choose between everyone in Europe being Christian, or everyone being in Europe, sorry, everyone in Europe being Christian but not white, or everyone being white but not Christian, I would choose to let everyone in Europe be Christian but not white. There's nothing innately valuable about what the colour of one's skin, other than the fact that God made it. But God made every race, and so every race is equally of value according to their ethnicity. Right, but the, the, the Old Testament really no uh, demonstrates um, how um, no the tribe is the most important factor. You know. yeah. I think I think another way to respond, if I speak to where Jamie's coming from, is there are lots of boys so in different generations, Vatican young men, making, make, creating those voting bases across <laughs> Europe that are more racinated than they are spiritualized. So it's not either or, or it's not a precedent. It's like two meters, how racinated they are after 50 years of cultural Marxism versus how spiritualized they are. Yeah. So it's not either or flip. And those people are coming and Jamie saying it's are highly racialized, they're racinated. Let me ask you and this they, question. So then they're, they're not going to agree with you because they don't really care. What what the voting what, in, in everything that you've heard him say, yeah. in everything that you have heard him say, what is, what are your problems with his viewpoint? My only problem, no, I don't see, I don't have a problem with his viewpoint. I see him as a... So you have no problem with the viewpoint that said, he said, he said... I don't see a problem with the viewpoint per se. I see any one of his viewpoints is on a journey of a process that will either get to where you are, hopefully through me towards that, or it won't and it will fail. 
if it fails, then it doesn't really matter because it doesn't match to our If so it succeeds, it's our duty to pull it that way. So you're so saying... I take every person I meet and the hundreds of them and I, I plot them on that spiritual overlay over the compass going, right, here's where you're in your spiritual progress versus your ratination. You're versus using... Am I right in thinking you're using a Hegelian paradigm? A sort of, yeah. Right. So you're using a Hegelian paradigm that presumes... Yeah that unless nationalists hire can become Christians, that their nationalism will fail. Is that correct? I, if I, look I don't my, want to misrepresent you. No, if I look at my highest order narratives, if they come from ex Christianity under acceleration, and I want peace on earth, so if I look at peace of earth from the top coming down and this global disaster happening, then I go, gosh, if nationalism's right, all these people are in different stages of the process of what is going to be secured in the worst case with 100% ethnats that have no Christ. Forgive me, Ralph. So if they have 100% ethnats with no Christ, we're looking at dub dub three coming. Yeah, we're, we're I mean, looking. Do you think that hate you see? Yeah, yeah. That, that's going to be excellent. This, this, this kind so of. We see that hate crime statistics. But, we but, see but, that but, but and, and I agree yeah. with you. Yeah. I agree with you that that ethno nationalism for its own sake should be opposed by the church. But let me ask you this question. Let us assume that your Hegelian thought process is right and that demographically actually the ethno-nationalists and the nationalists end up becoming a dominant political force in this world. Which is what we're seeing right When now. push comes to shove, yeah, it's accelerating. when push comes to shove, are you willing to fight for the church against the ethno-nationalists? Okay, he's not the ethno-nationalist you think he is. I'm not an ethno-nationalist. I, I know you're not. I know you're not. And I'm helping, you, an and I'm helping <laughs> you to prove it. Yeah, I'm an imperial, I'm helping I'm a Christian I, absolutist. Yes, I, and I'm helping you to <laughs> prove it. Because, because whilst... So the problem with ethno the problem with ethno is going to go, look, if you look at that dynamic and you see that replacement demographics, you see the 2030, you see 60% being breached, this vacuum looks like conflict. If you plot the hate crime statistics and just in the UK, Quiet for 10 years until about eight, nine days ago, and they're just going across Europe, all going up. You see the tension coming. That vacuum is going to be replicated. Would by you agree with me that that's because of the failure of liberalism oh to tackle radical oh Islam? I was trying to get you to see my friend, but you just uh, yeah. left. Yeah. 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 yeah, the, 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 the reality is, uh, the reality is, the liberal, the liberal, the liberal, the liberal progressives, the liberal progressives have created the problem because of their own failures to deal with Salafist forms of Islam. Right. And mass immigration that's only been But I would suggest to you that I would suggest to you that the muscular ch a muscular church, yeah. a Absolutely. revitalized yeah. strong Christian spirituality yeah. is the thing that will speak to him the most. And will speak to <laughs> other nationalists the most. <laughs> when when Christians recover the kind of spirituality that inspired the Christians to throw back jihad one Jihad 2 and oh, Jihad 3, yeah. when, we, when we recover that kind of spirituality, you'll find that working class lads who have nationalist opinions come into the church. We as Christians need to recover a strong sense of our own identity because it's only when we recover our own identity as Christians that others that are seeking for a strong identity will find it. But we have to be clear what that identity means. That identity means that we ascribe to ourselves the identity of being a disciple of Christ, not of being an Englishman, not of being a, a German or a Frank or a Catalonian or a Celt or a, Den a, a, a Viking. Even a Welsh. Or a Welsh. <laughs> it is, that's a Celt. And the problem Bob is here is the majority of the demographic people in the data are not thinking that way right now. They're accelerating their re-spiritual connection to ethnicity yeah. at, a, at a formidable rate. And that's why you should and evangelize. You that. I'm not against yeah, you evangelizing yeah. them. I'll even help, I'll even, yeah. I'll even, we'll set up a live stream. Something like Bob with E. Michael Jones. <laughs> what, denom what denomination are uh, you? I'm just a Christian. What does that mean? I don't believe, a, a Christian is someone who is a disciple of Christ. They look yeah. to Christ as their teacher. They and accept who he I is, get, and they follow him. And you have to I get that. What sort of church do you go to? Obviously, I'll go to any Christian church. Any. Any Christian yeah, church. I'll so you're Protestant. Right? No, I'll go to any Christian any church. church. Roman Catholic, Eastern Orthodox, yeah. Coptic, Evangelical, yeah. Baptist, Methodist. I'll go to all of them. But they, they're not all combined together. They all agreed. Them. Agreed. They're not. But that is the failure <laughs> of, of 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 Christians over history. Amen. But the reality is that the community, the people of God. 
Paul, the, the community of faith. I know you yeah. wouldn't like them. Okay. Okay. okay, peace yeah. for you. Yeah. God bless you. Uh, you look after yourself. Attention. I will show you with Yeah, but, but the, the people of God are founding all of these denominations. From Yahweh Man, say it straight. Man, don't listen to BBC. Man, don't listen to ITV. You're not just found in one room. Listen! <laughs> okay, but, uh, I'm just saying that most of the people have to start. So, all the terms to So, my job is to convince as many Christians as I can to adopt this position. To adopt it. Ecumenical. Yeah, that. Yes. That's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I encourage Christians to adopt an ecumenical position. Okay, but... The, the church is not defined by any of these denominations. The church is that collection of people who seek to follow Jesus in their lives. And they yes. will recognize one another. Yeah. And you find them in the Catholic Church, you find them in the Orthodox Church, you find them in the Protestant churches. And they recognize one another as being disciples of Christ. Yeah, yeah, I agree. With that. But in the Orthodox churches, we have na national and ethnic identity as a central pivot of our, our own.